When editing with Final Cut, you may want to add text to your movie, such as in the form of titles, credits, and lower thirds. Let's begin by looking at how to make text with a black background. For this example, let's try adding a title card to a sequence of Juno Diaz. First, place your timeline playhead where you would like your title card to appear. Move your mouse into the lower right corner of your viewer window and click on the Add Text pop-up menu. Then select the option Text from the menu and then select Text again. The viewer should now appear as a black screen with the phrase Sample Text written on it. In the upper left hand section of your viewer window, click on the tab labeled Controls. Within this tab, you can write out what you want your text to say, adjust the font type, and adjust the font size. Now, let's replace sample text with this piece's title, an interview with Juno Diaz. To do this, we simply type it into the box hitting the return key every time we want to create a new line. Let's change the font to Helvetica and increase the font size from 36 to 54 points. If we now click back on our video tab, we can see our new title card. If we wanted to move the text's position on the screen, we need only to click on our View Modes button in our viewer and move from Image to Image and Wireframe option in the drop-down menu. The wireframe option allows us to grab the image and move it around our viewer. So let's try moving the text from the center of the screen to the top. With our text where we want it, we can then click back on our View Modes button and reselect the image option. To add this title card to your sequence, you do much the same thing you would with any video or audio clip. You can either drag the text card directly from your viewer into your timeline or drag it into your canvas while selecting the insert button. Now that the title is in our sequence, we might want to consider adjusting the length. To do this, click on the end of the text clip and drag it to the left. Then click on the space between the title card and the Juno Diaz clip and press the delete key on your keyboard. As you can see, our sequence now has a title. You know, we have very little access to what the human would actually look like. Now, instead of creating a title card, let's try creating a lower third that would be overlaid on top of the video. Lower thirds are useful for letting the audience know who is speaking and what that person does. To do this, we do much the same thing we would if we were making a title card. We place our timeline playhead where we would like the lower third to come in, and then we click on the Add Text button. We then select the Text submenu and then the lower third option. The viewer should now appear with the phrases Sample Text 1 and Sample Text 2. Click on the Controls tab and select Text Box 1. The first line should always be the person's name and the second line is his or her profession or relationship to the video. So for this clip, we want the audience to know that this is Juno Diaz and he is a writer. As with the text cards, we can adjust the font type and size. If we click back onto our video tab, we can now see our desired lower third. To overlay this on top of our video clip, we want to create a new video track and set our video source tabs to the new track. We then want to drag the image in our viewer onto our canvas. As we play through the clip, we can now see our video along with our lower third title. You know, we have very little access to what the human